the way our country is today, we need to ensure that our SMEs grow. Um, SMEs, like you know, are the engine of our society. They employ a significant portion of the population. SMEs, unfortunately, also rapidly fail. And they fail for a number of reasons. They fail because they do not keep proper accounts, they do not keep proper books, they do not understand how to scale up their um, business. And also, they do not have you know, people that they can work with, that they can trust. Um, for our economy to grow to the point at which we want it to grow, we have to spend time developing this SME. My name is Bukola Smith. I'm Executive Director, Business Development, FCMB. Here are my top five tips for raising funds for your business. Funding is so critical um, for an SME. Without funding, it would be very difficult to scale up your business. The good news is that access to finance is not as challenging for SMEs as it was a number of years ago. There's a lot of focus now on SMEs. A lot of international organizations and even local entities are willing to support SMEs um, to ensure that growth. So one of the first tips will be that keep proper records. It's very important that you have details of your income, your cash flow, and your expenses. So your inflows and your outflows must be properly documented. I've seen a few things in this last number of years. <laughs> I had a businesswoman, for instance, come in and she wanted to take a bank loan and when we checked the records of what she had been doing, half of her cash flow was not being put into the bank. Again, the number of her records were not also detailed. So it was difficult for us as a bank to then work with her um, to understand what her total um, collections were. So the first thing that any investor, any bank will look at will be how you have kept your record. Even if it just means keeping it in an exercise book, even though I do not encourage that, but you can do keep in an exercise book all your records of your cash in and out. And um, that would also help us understand the nature and size of your business. The second tip will be that cash flow is king. In your business, you must collect your money. What I found out is that a number of SMEs sell and then do not collect. They sell on credit and then do not really have a full hand on collecting their money. So you need to spend a lot of time in ensuring that the sales you have made actually come back to you in cash. Very critical, collect your money. Third point I would raise is that you must realize that cash flow is not the same thing as profits. Sometimes I find out that a number of SMEs are very happy when they are receiving money. So you've sold and your money is coming in. Excellent. But that money is not meant to be spent, especially not on your personal needs. And I see that a number of people are not able to separate their personal needs from their business needs. So it's very important. And I always would advise SMEs, pay yourself a salary. Very, very critical. So that when you have to pay your children's school fees, you do not dip into the funds for the business. Rather, you pay your fees, for instance, from the salary that you have earned. The next point I would like to mention will be access to knowledge. It's very important um, that you understand your business and you're constantly seeking for more information about what you do. Investors, banks, would want to know that you have a deep understanding of your business. At FCMB where I work, we have an SME advisory desk that would help you with uh, on the, you know, properly documenting your business and the current state it is at, and also help you work with your future plans. So access to information is very critical to any SME, especially one that intends to scale up the business to the next level. Final tip. You cannot do it alone. You're not a superstar. 
Even superstars do not do everything on their own. It is so critical in your business um, that you have people that you can trust, people you can work with, people you can depend on. So you need people around you, your support system, people within your organization that can help you achieve your objectives. And please, while you're doing all of this, do not forget the customers. Very important that you're able to retain your customers. Customer service is very key so that you can get repeat business um, from your customers. So anyone looking to invest in your business, either by providing you with equity or providing you with loan or any other source of finance that we have spoken about today, will require that all these things I've talked about are in your business.